hello my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs this is going to be for my lovely scorpio sun moon rising and venus before we get into your reading uh scorpio i want to let you guys know give you guys a quick update we're going to be releasing the pendulum box set if you guys can see here uh it is a pendulum that is ritualized um through ceremonial magic consecrated for you guys to be able to use it as quickly as you receive it it is uh it's also protected so it keeps you from unwelcome spirits only for you to deal or communicate i should say with your spirit guides and your ancestors it also comes with a vial that is for protection like i said you guys can see that here um and we also have some are going to come with necklaces as you guys can see here others will come with a ring as you can see here so uh you guys definitely stay tuned to that we're going to be releasing that friday may 21st i do want to let you guys know first time uh first come first served so definitely check out our online store as like i said it's going to be dropping friday may 21st we only did 50 of these um and the reason you guys know i like to custom and personalize every single thing i do just like the soaps just like everything that i have um on my online store it is not you know you could go to botanical shops you can get you know necklaces rings bracelets whatever but if they're not charged the way they're supposed to for that specific reason as an example for protection against evil um for abundance for wealth whatever the situation is if it is not consecrated and ritualized it serves no purpose so uh we decided to do like i said 50 of these we have done it in 25 two sets that like i said have been prepared and ritualized so definitely stay tuned to that if you're interested definitely make sure to go to our online store like i said it's gonna be ready or they're gonna be dropping friday may 21st okay all right, let's get into your reading, Scorpio. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. We're going to be using two different decks here, one to represent your energy and the other to represent the energy of your partner or person of interest. So let's get right into it, Spirit Guides. Please paint a vivid picture of us, to us, sorry, um, in regards to Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Their energy, what they are uh, currently dealing with, let's get into this here we go all right your first card ace of pentacles there is some type of manifestation that's coming towards you for some of you guys you may be experiencing in the coming weeks almost like opportunities to advance so these are opportunities that are that are going to come to you in unexpected ways um i see a lot of you guys going through transformations it's almost like the universe aligning itself to you to be able to bring to you um, that which you're desiring or what you're trying to manifest. For those of you guys that have been trying to manifest a long-term committed relationship or a partnership, that's definitely coming through. Stay in the lane that you're in right now. Remain optimistic and positive. Sorry about that. I had to mute that real quick. We were getting loud in the background. Okay. Second card here is the Three of Wands, Expansion, Growth, Knight of Swords, Temperance card here, the High Priestess, and the Sun card. Yeah. So I definitely see a lot of you guys really manifesting some type of long-term commitment. Uh, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with the person that is at a distance. You could be dealing with Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, leo for others of you you could be uh dealing with air energy aquarius gemini um aquarius gemini libra type of energy yeah and i just pulled out the justice card here for your partner's energy so what they're showing me here for some of you guys i feel that you're going to be dealing with having to choose it's funny because I think I did a reading, I'm not sure if it was Aries or Taurus, where if you are dealing with an Aries or Taurus, definitely check out their uh, reading as well, because it does speak about choices. It speaks about opportunities that are going to be coming to you. Um, for some of you guys, I see you guys dealing with more than one person. 
Uh, you may be dealing with the person from the past, a past type of energy. Uh, someone that checks in and out, meaning they come towards you and then they go ghost on you and then they come back around. What they're telling you right now, Scorpio, it's important for you to heal whatever needs to be healed. So if there are any situations from your past, any resentments, anything that you've been holding or perhaps waiting to hear from someone so that they can give you closure. What Spirit is telling you is that right now it's very important for you to release that that need, that feeling of having to, um, expecting someone to give you the closure. What they're telling you is open yourself up to the opportunities that are coming your way, releasing yourself from anything that is not serving you. The Knight of Swords also indicates having the need to cut off some type of communication with someone from the past that has been a bit toxic. We have the Temperance card here. And Temperance speaks about timing, healing, but it also speaks about making or, or weighing an option. With the High Priestess, you know what it is that you need to do. You know deep down inside, um, if you've been dealing, like I said, with a person that just is, like they, they're very inconsistent. It's very flighty type of energy, but you feel... Like you're trying to convince yourself to keep holding on because you feel that there is a higher purpose for this or for this for you dealing with this type of energy. What they're telling you is take them as they are, meaning don't hold on to your expectations of them. See them for what they really are. And I feel that for the majority of you, you already kind of know what it is that you need to do in this situation if you've been dealing with this inconsistency type of energy. They're telling you, open yourself up, listen to your intuition. Your t intuition is telling you to spread your wings. You have the three of wands here. It is expansion, but it also speaks about not rushing love or not rushing relationships. Um, knowing very clearly and concisely what it is that you want and surrendering to the process, surrendering, being patient. There is a relationship that's coming towards you. This is a blessed union. We have the sun, the temperance, and the high priestess. This is a connection with someone that may be very spiritually inclined or a person that is, you're just going to feel like you guys have known each other for a very long time. I feel for the majority of you guys, you have not met this person as of yet. They will be coming into your life. They're giving me the month of May, the end of May, beginning of June. And for some of you guys, August. So May, June, or August is when this person is going to be introducing themselves to you or coming into your life. Again, let go of the past. Now, your partner's cards here, we have the Justice card. Making a decision. I feel that for some, um, the inconsistency probably has to do with the fact that maybe they've been dealing with more than one person. Maybe they've been dealing with more than just you. That could be the reason why they ghost or why they pull away. Uh, I could be that, you know, they felt up until this point that you kind of haven't stood your ground or there is no need for them to make a decision. Um, but I feel that you're kind of taking your power back, Scorpio. You're knowing what you're worth and you're not going to be dealing with any inconsistency anymore. Justice can also represent a Libra energy. Um, but I feel that for them, the way they're viewing the situation is they're going to be dealing with some type of karma that's coming. We have the Page of Wands here, setting out for a new journey, uh, perhaps chasing a different uh, person, perhaps um, hoping, you know, that there was a deeper connection than what it really was. Eight of Swords, feeling stuck. Seven of Cups, yeah, it's scattered energy, you guys. Four of Wands and the High Priestess. We have High Priestess twice here. So for some of you guys, this could be a person that does feel the connection strongly, but I feel that they are not ready for that type of vibration. With the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Cups, they have very scattered energy or they have a lot of options. And that could be the reason why, like I said, they, they, they don't really bring any type of consistency to you. It's like they're trying to figure out what it is that they want themselves. Uh, they're very much in their head about this situation. And again, like I said, if you're dealing with someone that you know is still dealing with an ex, 
I feel that that's the reason why your connection hasn't progressed because they're just not over the X. Um, sitting there and waiting for them to make a decision is, you know, you're kind of wasting your time. At the same time with the high priestess, we have two high priestesses here on both your reading and their reading. I feel that on their part, they're keeping a lot of things hidden or they're not being completely honest and transparent. This speaks to me about, you know, um, secrets. For some of you guys, this could be a revelation that the person you were dealing with perhaps um, has some type of commitment or some type of union. We have the four of wands here with the eight of swords feeling stuck because of some type of commitment. For others of you, it could just represent that the person is just not ready to let go of the past. They're still dragging their past towards their present. And that's the reason why they're very inconsistent because they can't, even if they wanted to, um, on a mental level, they're not ready to commit as of yet because they haven't gotten over uh, something from the past. And that's why their energy is very scattered. They're trying to find balance, but to be completely honest with the high priestess here, I feel that they're just not being honest about that commitment or that union that they either are no longer in or may still be in and you're unaware. So again, pay attention to that, uh, Scorpio. I, I hope this gives you guys some type of clarity, some type of insight. I wish you guys the very best. Until then, we'll see each other soon. Bye.